what is Gilligan's Loop? It's a powerful language pattern that uses hypnosis and trance. And you can use this for maximum persuasion and influencing your clients when you're doing sales. Or you can use it if you're a hypnotherapist or a coach with your clients as well. Stay tuned. Damon here with NLP Gym. Let's learn a really powerful language pattern. But before we do that, if you haven't already, please click subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you can get these videos on a regular basis. So Gilligan's Loop. This is an extremely powerful hypnotic language pattern that you can use to induce trance for your, if you're, if you're doing hypnosis with someone. Uh, it's also very powerful conversationally if you're using it in sales or if you're just wanting to use it in general for persuasion and influence. It's called Gilligan's Loop after Steve Gilligan and I don't believe this is something that Steve Gilligan ever named Gilligan's Loop. I believe from what I've heard that this was a pattern that one of his students recognized that he would use over and over so he named it Gilligan's Loop after his teacher Steve Gilligan. And honestly, I don't know who this person is. So uh, if somebody does know, please leave a comment. Um, and we'd love to give him credit for this. Gilligan's Loop is basically something that if you've learned the, the Milton model from NLP, you're going to be kind of familiar with. It uses vague language. And uh, Steve Gilligan, perhaps one of the best hypnotherapists alive today, was trained extensively by Milton Erickson which is where the Milton model comes from. And it uses vague language and it also uses suggestion, indirect suggestion, so that the person you're doing this with doesn't feel like he's being pushed or she's being pushed into it. So you lower the possibility of resistance. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna in use an intro statement to introduce the state or whatever it is you want them to do. So say you want the person to relax your, your coaching client or your hypnosis client and what you tell them as this for example is everyone knows what it's like to relax sometimes or everyone has had the experience of deep relaxation so you're using a universal quantifier everyone or all, all people and introducing the state of deep relaxation now they can't really argue with you <laughs> Pretty much everybody has had the experience of relaxing, so they're, they, it's a pacing statement. They can't really argue with that. Your next statement would be something that uses other people as a reference. And when you say other people or others or some people, they will naturally use themselves as an example because they have to dig into their own experience to know what, what it is you're talking about. So we're going to do our intro statement, which is introducing the state, and then you'd make the, the first suggestion. Some people relax by taking a walk. Now, notice too that I paused and said, relax. That is also a hypnotic command. I'm changing my tone. I'm pausing right before the word, and I'm changing my tone. So some people relax by taking a walk. So we're going to do two more statements that are similar to that, and these are also pacing statements. So the second statement might be, and others relax by reading a book. And then we do our third statement. And some people relax by breathing deeply. So I'm throwing in another command, breathe deeply, which in general helps people to relax. So there's three pacing statements. Actually, the very first intro statement is kind of a pacing statement as well. And then you're going to close the loop by going ahead and giving them a more direct command. That's what we call leading. So you would probably close the loop by saying something like, and you can find all of your own reasons to relax now. So you're turning it back to them instead of using other people as a reference and turning it to them and saying, and now you can relax deeply and find your own ways, find your own reasons. So again, it's very vague and you're telling them that they can find their own reasons or their own ways to relax. 
So let's put this all together and make it uh, one long statement. Everyone knows or has had the experience of deep relaxation. And some people relax by taking a walk. Others relax by reading a book. And some people relax by breathing deeply. Now, you can find all of your own ways and own reasons to relax deeply. Okay, so that's something about how it would go. And the more you practice this, the easier and more conversational it will become. I used to use this in sales. I don't do sales as much anymore. Um, I do own a business and I pretty much have hired people to do the sales for me. But when I did do sales, it was more about the action I wanted the person to take. So say I wanted them to buy life insurance. I might start an intro statement by saying, everyone knows what it's like to want to protect something, especially something very dear to them. Okay, so that's my intro statement. I'm saying, I, you know, everyone has that experience of wanting to protect something, okay? So the first or the second pacing statement would be something like, some people buy life insurance because it gives them the security of knowing that if something happens to them, their family will be okay financially. So that's the first statement. Second statement might be, and others buy life insurance because they know they're creating generational wealth for their grandkids and their great-grandkids. Third statement. And some people buy life insurance for the living benefits. So those are the three, the three center pacing statements after the intro pacing statement. And if you notice, I dropped my tonality and said, buy life insurance. So I paused and dropped, dropped my tonality and said, buy life insurance. And then I closed the loop by saying, and you can find all of your own reasons for wanting to buy life insurance and protect your family. So I'm turning it back to them, directing them to find their reasons for buying life insurance. And I'm also dropping my tonality and, and saying buy life insurance. So why does this work? Why is this so powerful? You're using pacing statements so they don't resist. And the, when you're using pace, pacing statements, they're going along with it because it makes sense, it works, there's no resistance, okay, so it's sort of like them saying yes, yes, and yes. And then you use a leading statement, which gets them, directs them to do what it is you're asking them to do. The other thing that it does is it overwhelms the conscious mind with more suggestions than it can hold at one time. So you're giving three main suggestions, and at about that point the conscious mind starts to become overwhelmed. And while it's becoming overwhelmed, that's when you can get the hypnotic commands to sort of fly under the radar and go into the unconscious. And then you're turning it to them, and then once again, uh, directing them to do what it is you want them to do. Repetition works here. The vague language, some people, other people, reasons, find, experience. I'm not giving any specifics. So they have to go in and, and, and attach specific experience of theirs to that for in order for them to make sense of what I'm saying. This is a pretty powerful pattern. And so if you're in sales, you want to use this responsibly. I never use this with anyone who I wasn't absolutely certain that they needed what it was I, that I was selling. So like I said, use this with caution, use this responsibly. If you really believe in what it is you're selling to this person, I said go for it. Definitely practice this before you try to use it in a sales situation. I would practice. I would even practice this before using it and with one of your clients if you're a hypnotherapist or a coach. Anyway, practice practice it and play around with it. Um, I, in the blog, I give an, an exact word for word, so it's easy to refer to. You might want to check that if you're not on our email list, uh, which. You get the blog emailed to you. 
Uh, you can check the website nlp-gem.com and go to the blog. You'll see this blog and you can actually read it word for word. I put it um, very clearly so you can just sort of extract the pattern and use it for whatever it is you want to use it for. Play around with it. Uh, use different variations. I use very once you really understand the pattern you can use variations of it in everyday conversation which is what I like to do and it's still very very effective that way and it goes completely undetected in normal everyday conversations. Check out our website nlp-gym.com follow us on Facebook so you can get real-time updates on free practices that we're holding and also new workshops that are coming our way. Uh, we have Core Transformation coming up, taught by Mark Andreas, son of Stephen Connie Ray Andreas. That's September 16th, 17th, and 18th here in Santa Cruz. You want to make it to this workshop. It's going to be an incredible workshop, and you will more than likely experience a transformation, and you will get to take these tools home and use this again with yourself, or you can use it in your coaching practice. It's a wonderful model and I'm really looking forward to this workshop. And of course, if you have not already, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Take care.